specialist. We're on site looking at one of our customers' new central offices. Here is a CND wet cell batteries that we installed. We also have our large CXPSC plant, and behind that, our LPS 36 plant. Let's go check out the CXPSC. Here we are at the Cortex CSPSC plant. As you can see, there are three bays here. Two rectifier bays and a TPL distribution bay. Two rectifier bays can handle 4,000 amps each, and you can actually add a third bay to go up to 12,000 amps. The rectifier in this system is the 4 kilowatt rectifier. This rectifier can be used in plants from 600 amps all the way to 1,200 amps. The C plant is also capable of holding our 12 kilowatt rectifier. As you can see here, it's our CXC High Performance Controller. This is our latest and most capable controller that will be across all of our rectifier systems. Finally, we have our TPL Fuse Bay. This is a 6,000 amp bay that has been fully wired up by our services group. We're going to go check out how this has been wired up behind. Here we are behind the CXPSC plant. And we're here with our project manager for this site, Robert Chang. He's going to quickly go over some of the service work that we have done here. Robert? Thanks, AD. As you can see, our field service team assembled a custom bus bar system that extends all the way to the battery banks and fits perfectly inside our bays. As you will note here, the cable management of this bay is pretty user-friendly. Even with the full bay, you still have plenty of space to stick your hands in and work and maneuver. Now let's take a look at the LPS 36 system. Here we are with our LPS 36 system. So coming out of the TPL fuse bay, you saw those large cables. Some of them are feeding directly into the top of these racks, and in the back of our secondary distribution, our E2 panel. Here, you can see one of our E2 panels that is open with its alarm communication and its A and B redundant sides. In this one, we even have an HP controller built in. The same controller that was in our C plant and is in our other rectifier systems. This is the master bay and our slave bay. On each bay, we also have five BCB to DC converter shells for line power. So as the power comes through, we'll be coming to minus 40 volts DC and stepped up to plus minus 190 volts DC. Then going up through these connectors, out through the central plant, feeding remote power equipment kilometers and miles away. If you have any questions about our C plant, our service groups, or our line power and equipment, please visit www.alpha.ca. Thank you for joining me.